Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Sanya. I'm second MSc for example, nutrition uh, from Yuvaraj's College, Mansuru. And then uh, this here, I'm going to talk about the study on effect of fermentation on the sensory attributes of prosomilite dosa. And then the scientific name of prosomilite is Panicum minicium. And then uh, this. Um, uh, and then uh, the uh, talking about fermentation, we all know that dosa is a fermented product. And then fermentation is nothing but it is a chemical breakdown of substances by bacteria, yeast, and other microorganisms. That is, it converts sugar into acid gases or alcohol. And then also this uh, conversion can be taken place by microbial action or by enzymatic action. And then uh, the fermentation is uh, caused because of uh, maybe microorganisms or uh, the nutritional ingredients or the environmental conditions. And then here the microorganism will make use of the nutrients that is present in the food as their energy sources. And then uh, this fermented foods increases the bioavailability of nutrients and also it stimulates probiotic and probiotic functions. It exerts vasodilatory action and it gives benefits against certain types of cancer. And also it is uh, beneficial uh, for uh, uh, maintenance of gut GIT homeostasis and it is beneficial for gut mucosa and then it will improve the immune system and also it uh, ensures longer shelf life and microbiological safety of food. And also this fermentation gives uh, the food a, a, a unique flavor, taste and texture. Texture. These are the some of the cereal based traditional fermented foods. And then uh, coming to dosa, uh, dosa is one of the most popular dish in India, especially in South India. And it's a type of pancake made from fermented batter of rice and black gram. And there are different varieties of uh, dosas are available in the market. And then rice, is, which is the normally main ingredient, it contains 90% of carbohydrates, 8% of protein, and 2% fat. And also other good sources of calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, uh, manganese, etc. And then the another main ingredient is black gram, which is rich in carbohydrate, protein, dietary fiber, and good sources of minerals, potassium, calcium, iron, and the vitamins. It's useful in controlling cholesterol levels. And then coming to the importance of uh, millets, and these millets are very nutritious crops, and it has various health benefits. Like uh, these are, these will help to lower the blood glucose level, and uh, uh, this will uh, protect from heart diseases. And then slow fermentation of millets by microflora, uh, which prevents constipation. And then, uh, and then uh, this millets claim to be the future foods. And also we can substitute cereal foods with millet foods because of their benefits. And then uh, prozo millet belongs to the family of Poaceae, and then uh, it is a self pollinated crop, and then it, it is rich in phytochemicals and it contains high amount of fiber. And this fiber and the resistance starch act as probiotic, and it is effective in reducing the levels of glucose. And it is beneficial in preventing pellagra. Pellagra is nothing but the deficiency of niacin because uh, prozo millet is uh, rich in niacin. And then, uh, proso and then why I have uh, opted uh, for product development prosomillet dosa is in prosomillet dosa, we will get both the benefits of uh, millet, prosomillet, and also the benefit of fermentation. And then, uh, this uh, like prosomillet is rich in protein, and when it is fermented to make dosa, its nutritional value will increase. And then, these millets are gluten free, and then also it, it is a great alternative for the people with celiac diseases, and also it is beneficial for preventing CVD, and it is high, uh, uh, it contains high fiber content and then uh, uh, and then it regulates the blood sugar level thereby it's good choice for diabetic patients and then it, it will strengthen the bonds and then also this dosa talking about dosa it is a popular south indian breakfast which has greater acceptance among the cons consumers and also it's very convenient to use and then so incorporation of prozo millet with dosa better will improve its efficiency and then uh, the objects behind uh, this research study is and to develop those are from prosomilia to evaluate its organoleptic leptic acceptability and to study the effect of fermentation time on sensory attributes. And then uh, the raw materials used are uh, barbell rice, prosomilate, uh, black gram dal, fenugreek seeds and salt. And then uh, the products were evaluated by 15 semi-trained panelists by using 9 skin hedonic scale. And then further analysis was done by AOAC method. And then these, uh, this is the procedure for uh, those are preparation. And then formulation P1 is kept standard and then P2, P3, P4, P5, P6 is 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100% replacement of the uh, millets, with, uh, millets with rice. And then other ingredients like uh, uh, Bengal graph and Ubi salt uh, kept constant for all the variations. And then here are the sensory scores and then I got uh, good results in P2, 20% and also in P3, 40%. So because of the higher amount of millets, I chose 40% for further analysis. And then these are the pictures. And then uh, this is the sensory scores of the dosa prepared with prozo millet, 40% uh, uh, by varying their uh, fermentation time. That is 6 hours, 12 hours, 18 hours, and 24 hours. And then here, I got the best acceptability for 6 hours. And then uh, this is these are the pictures. And then uh, here, uh, the uh, uh, protein, uh, fat, uh, protein, fat, uh, and uh, fiber, ash, uh, energy, 
fiber ash sorry uh, iron and phosphorus uh, is increased when compared to standard dosa and then coming to summary this fermentation increases the increased digestibility and nutritional value lactic acid bacteria are mainly responsible for fermentation and then uh, millets are nutritionally superior crops and then it is gluten free so ideal for gluten intolerant people and then uh, so uh, the optimum fermentation time uh, for prozo millet incorporated dosa preparation was found to be 6% and then 40% of millet incorporation was acceptable and then uh, the so the sensory evaluation of prozo millet dosa showed that it is highly acceptable to develop because of its improved sensorial characteristics nutritional and health benefits and then because uh, this product got the benefits of both uh, millets and then fermentation these are my references thank you